my review of the expansion of my X-Carve and its use on the X-Carve outfit table that I built is long overdue. Life has gotten in the way a little bit. We went to Costa Rica, um, had a great time, uh, surfed, sailed, played in the water, and then I got food poisoning <laughs> my last night there and flew home and I'm going to tell you throwing up in an airplane bathroom at 32,000 feet is not the greatest thing in the entire world. But here we are. Um, so it's up and running and um, I want to give you my initial impressions both on the bench itself, on how I built it, and how I'm currently using it. So here we go. One of the things I've added is this uh, laptop stand. Now originally I wanted to put it over here, but there was a lot going on with the fence and the dust collection and the router table and the table saw, so I ended up moving it over to, to this side. And this is actually how it goes on. I built, built this small little pedestal for it and I got this on Amazon. I'll put a link below. Um, all of this, it actually collapses, so when I take my laptop inside, because it doesn't stay in the garage, um, all of this collapses and then folds back under the, uh, the X-Carve. A couple of things with how I built it. Um, what I... It's my fault. It's not a design issue or anything else. It is my issue. Um, instead of having the opening here, it should have been over there, and I should have rotated the whole assembly 180 degrees. Um, and then had kind of the same arrangement with the dust port over here and, or I guess over here, and the opening over here for the computer controller. Um, and the reason I say that is because the way that the, everything comes off the Nemo motors and the controllers, how it's made, it, you can't take it off um, either side. It has to come off of the right side of the router if you're looking at it. You can't do it off the left side unless you do a bunch of drilling and changing. What I had to do instead was have everything um, everything routed over to this left hand side which meant that my controller is not in the controller bay. Okay, I got that, that. That's a little bit of an issue, and I got this big hole. Um, I'm actually going to do some bit storage in there, but it, I, I wish I would have thought about it before I, I did it this way, and I, I may have changed some things up. This isn't the greatest view, but you can see where my controller is, and getting to the USB and the emergency stop is not the easiest thing in the world. So I really wish it was in that controller bay. Again, my fault. I wish the bed itself were just a little wider and a little longer, maybe maybe about four inches either way. And that sounds like a lot, but like right here, if I would have come off the right side of the router and routed the cables, I still wouldn't have room to punch a grommet through the top into that bay. Uh, as I was setting it up, I, I really wish I would have had a little more room. So I, I, I would change that in, in the design. And for the X-Carve itself, um, so I took one of the smaller units and turned it into this by buying all the parts and I was like super excited about it. Um, I didn't actually film a video of it just because I had to edit so many dirty words and I broke and stripped so many bolts and I looked like a moron while doing it. <laughs> So, you know, if I had to do it all over again, I probably would have had kept the smaller unit off to the side and used it in the house or um, in the garage and had this larger unit as well um, as another unit. It just, the amount of headache and hassle and stripped bolts and dirty words and, and uh, anger really wasn't worth uh, tearing the other machine down and rebuilding it with some of the same parts. I wish I would have just started with all new parts and new pieces and put it together from scratch and then had two CNC's. So how about I shut up and, and let this thing run and show you a couple things.
This is a piece of scrap plywood and I've got it cut out. Now you'll notice this was pocketed. Um, I stopped the uh, the carve in order to uh, to change that into just going around it because that's a lot of material and a lot of wasted effort. And I would like to tell you how um, I planned this. I did not. <laughs> Alright, let's get it off and clean it up. It is a CNC bit organizer. So for miscellaneous fresh bits, for eighth inch bits, and quarter inch, I have places for them. And I've delineated here uh, for things like uh, uh, miscellaneous fresh, this will be for just aluminum, these will be for cutting, these will be for uh, engraving, and then these are all BB bits uh, for sign making. And there will be a, um, a two inch rail on either side, and that's why this cut is there, so that I will be able to push it back and forth on that rail, and I'm going to have uh, other bit storage underneath it and tool storage like that. <laughs> Not a bad project. As you can see, I cut about a sixteenth of an inch into my brand new waste board. Which, I mean, that's what it's for, but I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. The tiny little OCD part of me, it, it hurts. It hurts a lot. <laughs> so I'm really glad that I, uh, I have the, the one meter by one meter x carve. I'm glad that I did it with the with the outfeed table um, and the hinge top. I've talked to other people that have put it in cabinets and um, as they change their x axis or um, as they uh, as they put different rails on their x carve, um, it becomes too tall. Well, with this, it it'll work. No no issue if I choose to upgrade it again. Uh, like I said previously, uh, when I noted the, the few little things I would change if I had to do it differently or over again, um, I don't think that I am going to rebuild this machine. I may stiffen it a little bit at some point, but I think it's it's worth my time and effort just to do another machine and not uh, not have to rebuild another one. So that's that's the X-Carve, um, and except for the few little things that, that I mentioned that I would change or do differently, I'm real happy with it. I'm I'm even happier in truth with the outfeed table. I haven't had this nice of an outfeed table since I left my last cabinet shop. Um, so I am real, real happy with the with the whole package. And uh, I, yeah, I look forward to using the uh, the tool to to make uh, to make new stuff and to make jigs and to make other tools. And um, I think it it really is going to add a dimension to the shop here. So. Thank you again for watching. Thanks for following along on the now three-part X-Carve series. I really appreciate it. Um, if you would, can you please subscribe? Um, it, would, it would do me a solid. Thanks much. Bye.